<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind, and today it's Arts and Crafts. We get to cover the seat for the Moto Guzzi 850. We're going to start by building a, a pattern, and then we're going to transfer that pattern to the batting and the fabric. We've done this before. We're, we are not experts. And I say we, and this is my wife and I, Carrie will do it. She will be the one doing the sewing. We're just going to figure it out. We've done a couple of them in the past. I'll, I'll put pictures up ahead so you can see them. And they've come out pretty good. They came out pretty good for doing them at home, right? This is some of the, the stuff where, like, in the past, we did a little we practiced on this doing some diamond stitches and then pleats. This one is just going to have pleats and it's, it'll come out nice. The center part of the seat here will be pleated. The rest will be smooth and uh, we'll see if we can get it done. This uh, may or may not be the correct way to do it. If it's correct, purely by accident. This is the way we do it. It's a way. It's not the way. Hang out. We're going to make a seat cover for the Moto Guzzi 850. All I'm trying to do is to make a pattern and I'm trying to find, and I'm eyeballing everything, guys. Uh, I know the proper way would be to measure something, but uh, that wouldn't be quite as much fun. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm somewhere in the center and then I'm just gonna cut around to get to a shape kind of that I think is the center and then we'll keep Kind of tweaking it. Again, this is this is not the way. I am sure. And then we'll open it up. We do it folded in half. That way both sides will be the same. And so this center's a little big. Still a little big. Hey, I'd rather have it too big than too small. That's what she said. <laughs> we'll take it down a little bit. And then it's just going to be a lot of back and forth on this, getting this smaller, a little bit more right in here. I want this to get a little, I want this to, to get a little skinnier on purpose so that when you look at it, it almost gets, if you, if you see it from here, and this is what I, I want to do. It is an Italian motor, motorcycle. So stay with me for just a minute. So I do want the shape because remember we have a really big tank. I do want the shape to be wider here and look like it comes a little, so it looks more like an hourglass kind of shape when you're looking at it from the back and it does that, especially when you add the shocks right here, it does get a little thicker here and it's thicker here. So I want to make sure this comes in a little skinnier. So let's see what this looks like. So you can see if that's the, the inset that's going to be right there, that that will kind of get a little skinnier. And I want it to get a little, I want it to appear to get even skinnier, even though the, this isn't, but I want this center bit to get a little skinnier so it looks like it comes from this round kind of curvy shape. It, it is an Italian motorcycle, so we. Might as well try to find sexy shapes to put in it, right? So we'll need four pieces total. This is one. We'll need a left side or a right side and then a left side. They'll seam in the middle. They'll be identical and then a piece for up here. So only four pieces. Okay guys, so here we are. We have our top pattern. We have our front that'll go up front here. And then we have our side. It'll be the same one back to back. So it'll be that side and that side. So it should, it should sew in the way we need it. Let me just make sure we're good. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. So guys, now I'm just mapping out where our pleats are gonna go. And just basically eyeballing, drawing a line, moving it ahead, making sure my batting stays somewhat square. This is what sews onto the back of the vinyl that's going to give us our pleats. 
and I'm getting these are relatively close. If you're a, a professional upholsterer and you happen to be watching this video, I apologize. But stick to it. We'll make it to the end. It'll be better than the seat that's on it. Be the best seat it's had in 10 years. So, and we made it. That's the part of this, guys. It's not about being an expert. It's not about, I, to me, I'm not trying to be a, a world-class uh, motorcycle builder because those guys are super talented and I appreciate all the work they do. I'm just taking a motorcycle that I paid $400 for, sitting for, for years, for over 10 years, and we're trying to make it the best, look the best it can for little to no money. You know, and money was no object, it'd be different. That's like I always tell people, I don't restore motorcycles, I just make pretty riders in perfect. Like I planned it, because we're not going to do one right at the end. So this will sew perfect right together because it'll pleat when it comes right around here anyway. So worked out perfect, just like, God, you'd think I did this on purpose. I don't know. When you're good, you're good, right? So, let's move on to the next step. Okay guys, so here are the patterns we made. See, just laid it on top of the seat. Just started with a big piece of paper, laid it on top of the seat, kept cutting it until I thought it was right, like we saw before. This one's for the front, it goes right there. And again, just cut it to where it looked like it fit. And then this is for the side that goes right there. And then the good thing about the side is you just do it the other way for the other side. So those are the patterns we made. And then this is the fabric we cut out, just black. Again, this is the right side and left side. And then this is the top with our foam for the pleats. It's measured out for the for the pleats. First step is we're going to go and sew those so we have our pleats. Okay guys it looks like we're all set up. I say we, me and Carrie. Uh, we did have to read the instructions on how to uh, how to do this stuff to because because we don't it's know. It's been a couple of years since we did it last time. Yeah. And this is the sewing machine we're using. Why this one? Because it was the cheapest one at Walmart. And the only hard part about doing this is kind of controlling the fabric, huh? When you end up, when, when you get... Yeah, because you get extra fabric here, and so it kind of gets in the way, and you have to make sure you, it doesn't catch or anything like that. But then it's just sewing a line, right? Yeah. You're just sewing a straight line. Easy. Yeah. As long as you have the lines there. Yeah. As a guide. Shake it no far. Because when um, when I was trying to hold on to this and it kind of kind of kind of wiggled a little bit. Did a little wiggle. Yeah. Let's see what your wiggle looks like. Well, I know what your wiggle looks like, but let's see what it looks like. <laughs> uh, you really can't. Like I said, you put you put guys. Now, if you're a professional upholsterer, please be kind. Right. <laughs> We're in our kitchen, right, in the dining room, really just doing this. But I guarantee you, you put a butt on it, it'll look perfect. Yeah, it will. Okay, guys, so here we are. I've got to trace this, the pattern, onto what we did the pleats so I can cut it out. But you can see where I already drew the lines here, 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 kind of just a couple of dots to see where it goes. My, the fabric shrunk up because of the pleats. 
So we drew a couple extra lines so we can go ahead and do those. So that's what we'll do right now. Okay guys, just tracing this around. I didn't, we didn't leave a, a seam allowance because we want it to fit nice and tight. So we're gonna be stretching it over so it doesn't matter quite so much. We're gonna pull it. So I just gotta mark that in the middle there. And I'm going here the same thing. I'm gonna mark the middle just so that we have the middle when we start sewing things together. This is the, the center bit, the, the front, and then the two sides. Now what we're gonna to have to do is start attaching the sides to the top. We'll leave a gap here so that we can then sew those two together. And then we'll do the same thing here. These are gonna be a little more involved, if you will, because we're gonna to have to rotate the fabric so that it fits. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's kind of a, we're not, it's not a straight seat. As you can see here, it's not a straight seat. So when you, when you look at this, we, have, we gotta to try to figure out a way to how do we get this and the sides to match up and to fit that. And I think we have it figured out. So we're gonna give it a go and, and say, what do you know, All right? Let's see if it works. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna get started on it. And wish us luck. By the way, if you know how to do this, leave in the comments down below. That'd be great. It'd be awesome if you just told us how to do it. If there's a better way to do this, we don't know. We're just trying our best. Do I need to do like a... Um... Back stitch or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, might as well. I actually sound like I knew what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Look at the gap. We've already. Right there. Oh, yeah. Can you get that? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Few more to get right to about that kind of thing. Okay, let's see. Now 
I'm going to start rotating this guy around. There we go. There you go, a couple more. Okay, that should be good. This is the center. This, no, no, no. I think we're. That's the pleat. I think we're pretty good. I'd stop right there because that I left these long. You sure? Yep. Uh, well, maybe not. No. So here's the center right okay. here. So we we'll go about two more. inches. We'll go a little bit more. Not much. Hold on. Let's rotate this guy. Okay. Let's try a couple more. You got it. Let's turn it on. Oh. One more. Okay, that's it. And we taking it out? Yeah. Oh. Scissors. No, I don't need no stinking scissors. Yeah, we do. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Like what they knew what we were doing. Look, see, it's got the top. Look at this. See how that, see how that shapes? Yeah. Look at that. Like we knew what we were doing. Look at this. <laughs> oh, spin this sucker. Make sure you can see me. You gotta see this. Come on. Come on, get out of here. Look at that. Like we knew what we were doing. Now we gotta do is do it to the other side. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that right there. Oh, it's perfect. Here, I'll spin that too. Oh, so now we gotta do the other side. Remember what we did? As long as you're there to guide me, I'm okay. good. Okay. Alright, let's do the other side. That's awesome. High five on that. Good job. Wrong way. This way. Okay. Starting right there. Same thing. Okay. And then I'll have to see on this side. Oh yeah. We'll have most of the stuff out of the way. It'll be a little easier to manipulate. For Maybe. sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see how we do. How we do. Let's see how we do. That. Now, for the record, we may or may not have the straightest seams known to man. May not. This is our center line. We have to figure out where these guys meet. That looks about right, right? Looks about right, right? Yeah, about right. And then we're just going to sew straight down. So try to keep the line going straight down. starting to look like a seat cover. Yeah, it is. I don't know if it'll fit that seat, but it's starting to look like a seat <laughs> cover. Okay, so now what we gotta do is cut off a little bit of this excess. We got too much fabric over here. We need to leave enough because we're gonna lay it open and Carrie's gonna sew a line on each side so we end up with a... A French seam. French, French seam. seam. French I don't know, whatever you wanna call French. it. Something French. I'm gonna make sure I cut a straight line leaving the exact amount of fabric on both sides. Oh no. Exact. <laughs> exact amount. We'll sew that guy in like this. Yes. Just like this from the top. This is the hardest part, trying to figure out how you can get in to sew it. All this fabric. Yeah, so, I don't know, will that work? Yeah. And guys, you put that little piece right there just so that the seam, you don't see the fabric behind, you don't see the opening behind it when it stretches out. This is where it starts to get fancy. And we're almost done. We just gotta sew, figure out how to sew the, the French to it. This is the way the French to it. Oh, 
force, Obi-Wan? Yeah. Let me see if I can help you. Okay, keep that flat. Go ahead. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, keep going. Oh, yeah, we're cooking with Crisco now. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. We're going to do the same uh -oh. thing. Whoops, I think oh, I ran, we ran out, out, of out of bobbin. Well, you we can do it again. Okay, guys, we ran out of thread Look on our bobbin. That. Look at that. And for those of you guys who don't know what a bobbin is, you're just going to have to Google it. <laughs> because if you don't know, I shouldn't be the person telling you. So we have to go back and, and do this again. We right. kept going, but we only had thread on the top side, so now we're just going to start right back up, right where we left off, and then just continue the line over. No big deal. No biggie? Nope. Again, this will be the best seat this motorcycle has. And it'll be the best seat we made today. Okay. All right, look at that. Now, we got two. So this guy, yep, that'd be okay. That came out a little weird right there, but I don't know why. <laughs> came out a little weird right there. It looks like a nose. It does. It's just in the... See, we're trying to figure out to attach this guy. And people in the comments, please let me know. Why don't we just start from this end right here. This side's and a little long. Rotate this. And then rotate right here. And then we'll go to here. And we do it in one fail swoop. Let's do it. And then we go like that. So we'll we'll make sure we keep this corner mm -hmm. our spot. But we're gonna rotate to here. And then we'll use your your footer as the, the mm -hmm. point. Again, guys, there's probably a proper way to do this. And then there's the way we're doing it. Alright, we're getting to that center. And then let's see, which way do I have to? I got to rotate this guy. Okay, uh, pull your footer up. And then we're just going to take a mini. We're just going to go right there. We're going to stop right there. Look at this. We act like we know what we're doing. Seems logical. So I don't know if it's right or wrong. It's the way we're doing it. Okay. And then now we're going to rotate. And I need to get one more. I'm good. I think you're good. I think. Let's see. Yeah, I think you're good. And then this guy is going to. Nope. This guy. He's just going to rotate back to it. Rotate back to. He's just going to rotate. If I say it enough, it'll just keep, it'll do it, right? Okay. Oh, we are. Okay, no worries. That'll make it easier. It's got to make it easier because that's the way we're doing it. Come on. Get on. Keep going. All the way up. That's perfect. <laughs> okay guys, so there you have it. Our completed seat cover. This is where we're going to end the video today because I'm waiting on the tack strips that I'm going to rivet down to then pull everything on. Because of that, we can't finish the seat. The tack strips should be in tomorrow, so we're going to go ahead and put those on and then we'll do it. And plus, I'm not gonna show it to you completed till the entire bike's finished. If you follow my Instagram on uh, Motorcycle Rewind, you will see the, the seat be finished. We'll do that, but we won't show the bike again until it's completely finished because we're almost done. So that's where we are. So guys, this came out pretty good. Not too bad for for uh, a couple of crazy kids in, in their uh, kitchen, right? Sewing this up. Anybody can do it. If we can do it, anybody can do it. So guys, Thanks for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. Do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.